I'm Emily Brackett, president of Visible Logic, a graphic design and branding firm in Portland, Maine. We use WordPress frequently to build our clients' websites because it's easy to use and we're able to improve their search engine optimization, or SEO. In this video, I'm going to show you how to control the H1 tags, title tags, and create custom URLs to improve your search engine optimization. Okay, we're here in the admin panel of WordPress and we're going to start a new page. You can either create a new page or a new post. What we're talking about applies equally to either. When you choose add new page or post, you will see this window and it will say enter title here. And we will type in the title of the blog post. We'll come down here, we'll add a little text there's usually a little bit of a delay and then this will pop up the permalink address your new URL and you'll see highlighted in yellow is the title of the blog post the same as you put in here with just hyphens or dashes between the words now if we go ahead and publish this and we view the page you'll see that the title of the blog post became the head usually h1 or h2 tag of the post. You'll also see it up here in the URL. It depends exactly how you set up your permalinks or pretty URLs, how that will show up. And then you'll also see it up here in the title bar of your browser window, the title of the blog post, and then a line. This is actually the name of my blog. You might also see this title if you have something that pulls in recent pages or posts and if somebody were to search by categories, depending on how you categorized it, you will also see this name. Having the same title repeat over and over in different places is okay, but sometimes it's more valuable to add some other keywords for search engine optimization. So let's go back to the admin panel and see where we can make some changes that might be beneficial. On my version of WordPress, I have a plugin called Platinum SEO Pack, and that allows me to override the title tag by putting in a new title here. Let's say I put in blog post about branding and graphic design in Portland, Maine update the page and view it and you'll see it here blog post about branding and graphic design in Portland Maine it's in the title bar of my browser window now I might not want that to be the main title that you see here but having it in the title tag is really great for SEO and let's look at a couple other places that we can make some changes another thing we could do is go ahead and add an h1 tag here critical steps for brand awareness and we will style it as an H1 again we'll update the page view the page and what you'll see is because of the way we have WordPress set up we're going to get this automatically set up but now we also have an H1 here now what your web developer could do is set up your WordPress so that when they pull in blog posts this auto-generated title for the for the post does not show up that way you could have a little more control over the difference between what shows up at the top of the blog post and what shows up in your navigation sometimes people prefer smaller shorter headlines for their navigations and more SEO friendly h1 tags within the post itself there is one last place you might want to consider overriding the default settings and that is here on the permalink which is the auto-generated URL. You can actually click edit and go in and make this URL anything you like. You could strip out unnecessary words like the, you could add other words um, like graphic design, main, etc. You say OK when you update the page and view the page. 
you'll see that that URL got updated as well, title of the blog post dash graphic dash design dash main. As you can see, you can adjust the name of your poster page, your H1 tag, your URL address, and your title tag. And by adjusting each of the, these to add or edit your keywords, you can really help create a more effective page in terms of search engine optimization. Hi again, I hope you've learned something about how to customize your H1 tags, your title tags, and how to customize the URL for your new web pages and posts. A lot of these things can be done through the standard WordPress admin file, or you may need to use some plugins such as the Platinum SEO Pack, or other settings may need to be adjusted by your web designer and developer. Again, this is Emily Brackett, president of Visible Logic, a graphic design and branding company in Portland, Maine. Thanks again.